Hi Cancer and welcome to your reading for the month of November 2021. This is a general reading so it may not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. It is also a timeless reading and it is not gender specific. So I will get all the cards out first and then I will go into the explanation. Let's see what's coming up for Cancer. For November. Ten of Cups reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Interesting. The Chariot, that is your card, right there, Cancerian energy. Five of Cups, it's funny, before I pulled that card, I actually could sense it before I saw the image because when I pulled the Chariot, I heard progress, forward movement, but then before I selected Five of Swords, um, why did I say Five of Swords? Five of Cups, I actually felt like short-lived happiness, bittersweet. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, Ace of Wands reversed. Wow, Six of Cups reversed. Hmm. I don't know why I'm saying wow, because there's a heavy energy surrounding that card. Whoa, speak about heavy energy. There's two of cups reversed. Whew, I just got chills all over. The hermit reversed. Ten of swords reversed. Luckily, this card is in reverse. Alright, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Seven of cups reversed. Okay, Cancer, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing some of you have recently entered a new period in your life as perhaps a single individual. I'm saying some of you had a breakup recently. Some of you experienced a breakup in your relationship. It's quite recent. If it hasn't happened yet, it may still happen, but some of you are dealing with a breakup. Wow, okay, so this person that you were with, you may have children with the person because we have the Six of Cups in reverse here. It's the card of childhood, soulmates, memories, nostalgia, past lives, but there is also the image of two kids right there. This energy is heavy, kind of like the Scorpio energy. So some of you may have been dealing with the Scorpio. That could be the person you broke up with. But what I'm seeing here is that things didn't end suddenly. It was like a long time coming. And at some point, you could actually see a future with this person. There again, we see children featured on this card. So at one point... Please don't let me burst out in tears again because I cannot deal with it again. I literally cannot ruin my makeup a second time. Not that I'm wearing much makeup, but literally you can see the streaks. I'm going to try not to break down again because you, people will think I'm pathetic. Okay, so this person once upon a time was your everything. They saw you as their everything. But things didn't quite work out. They're still looking at your profile, they're still stalking you, not in a hectic, negative way, but they're still keeping tabs on you from a distance with the Page of Swords. They're still like lurking in the background. That does sound creepy. Not lurking in the background, but obviously if you had children or you have children with them, then they're still pretty much part of your life. 
You're trying to move on from this breakup with a chariot card because there's forward movement with the chariot. But as I said, it's something bittersweet because we have five of cups here, which is the card of depression, sorrow, just darkness, disappointment is what I'm hearing, loss. And you're not quite ready to start a new relationship yet. Because Ace of Wands is all about a passionate new beginning or new connection. But this is in reverse. So it's telling me that now is not the right time to go into a new relationship just yet. With the Six of Cups reversed, we saw here that it can be referring to the children you have with this individual, with your ex. Or it could be, in, in a more heavy sense, Whew, this is heavy. Could be speaking about that this person, you viewed them as your soulmate at some point. And the tears are coming again. <laughs> Just give me a second. You viewed them as your soulmate. Now, I've spoken about this, and I believe that we all have more than one soulmate. It all depends on things like timing, geography, finances, things like that. Those things determine which soulmate we eventually end up with. But this person could have been your karmic person, and they may have been in your life for a reason, to teach you a lesson. And it's showing me here that the love that was once there, it ended. Left you feeling very lonely and alone, isolated, depressed, in a dark space. But you are trying to pick yourself up with that Ten of Swords in reverse. You're trying to move on. You're trying to stay busy, stay distracted with that Seven of Cups reversed energy. It's kind of like this happened at a time during which you were busy with a whole lot of things. This breakup happened. But I feel like it was necessary. And I'm not saying that it's the end forever. I mean, we don't know what the future brings. You might work things out again, who knows? But right now you're trying to stay busy, trying to keep your mind busy, trying to stay distracted because normally when this card is in, in the upright position, it speaks about someone having options, having choices, someone having a lot of things on their plate. The other meaning of course could be that you're not ready for a new relationship and you kind of just excluding other people for now because maybe this person you thought was really your person, you're still fixated on them to an extent. Your heart still hurts when you think about this person. And that is why you're kind of like staying away from the dating scene for some time. Because what comes to mind here is that there's that saying, that expression, like you're putting yourself on the shelf or on the rack. I don't know now, but something like you're making yourself available for dating and seeing that this is in reverse, it's telling me that you're not ready for a new relationship. Right now you're focusing on your kids, you're working on yourself, you're going inward, you're doing all the inner healing, shadow work in order to heal. That is basically all I have for you, Cancer. I hope that resonated with you. Thanks very much for watching. Keep well.